Welcome. This is the Jenkins User Experience Special Interest Group. Thanks for joining us. Today for topics, we've got the Jenkins Contributor Summit. What's happened recently in UI improvements? Are there any other topics that people want to be sure we add to the agenda? Okay. okay. Great. Well, then let's go through. So Jenkins Contributor Summit is being planned with FOSDEM 2024. This will be February 2, 2024 in Brussels. We have space for 30 and we have uh, five plus already confirmed attending, including Uli Hoffner, Alex Brandes, Stefan Speaker, several others. So if you're in Europe, you, it's a, a relatively low cost trip to Brussels for most people. Uh, I hope to be there, still trying to get funding approved. Any questions on the Contributor Summit? Uh, John Mark Mason is, is assembling the agenda. Uh, I'm sure I'm spelling his, well, that's right, two weeks. There we go. Uh, Ccommunity.jenkins.io for more details. Any questions? All right, next topic then is what's happened recently in UI improvements. And here, the, the key things, I feel like we've got some, some improvements happening in areas that are not as typical. So the console visualization pull request has been merged. This one allows plugins, oh, come on. This one allows plugins to use an alternate build log visualization. So things like Pipeline Graph Viewer, or, or Blue Ocean or other build log visualization tools can present their own link in the console. Uh, merged and released in, I think, 2.433 or 434. So will be first available in the first available in uh, February LTS. Right, meaning it's already available in weekly, first available in February LTS in 2024. Then Marcus Winter of SAP has been doing disk space monitoring improvements. And this one, I yes, has also merged and I've been using it and I'm, I'm really quite pleased with it. So it, it's helping us have a better experience for agent, monitor, agent management and monitoring. Any questions on either of those two? Okay, so then agent status monitoring improvements, this one again from Marcus, has also been merged. And if I remember correctly, this one resolves a particular issue that he had found due to disk space issues where it would, if the disk space was freed, it would not come back online. And now it will, be brought back online if enough disk space is available. And configuration is code support for node monitors. Again, thanks to Marcus Winter for his work here. I've been using this one as well and been very pleased with it. It's only available in weekly. So next time it will be the first LTS that it will appear in will be in February of 2024. Any questions on the node monitoring improvements that Marcus has implemented? Okay, next topic then was on cloud management interface improvements. And here, I think that's slowed down. I'm not sure unless others are aware of one that I've missed where cloud management interface has, got, has received significant new changes. As far as I know, we're stable there and well-behaved. There is still the open issue of the discovery of the cloud reordering, which we discussed a while back, might have been in October. Um, I think the result there was that Christina would look at um, how this can be improved. Ah, thank you. Oh, you wow. have... Yeah. <laughs> okay, Daniel, thank you very much. Christina and I had this conversation 
a, a day or two ago where she asked, Mark, I know there was a thing I was supposed to look at the UI on. What was it? And I had completely forgotten. So uh, Christina, I assume you haven't looked at it because I completely forgot. Uh, I need a ticket. Okay, so oh, so Mark to create a ticket. Oh, oh, go ahead, Badak, please. Perfect. Thank it's you. Just the previous pull request with the discussion and this kind of thing. But uh, not thank you very much. All right, for Christina to help us help with a UI proposal. Good. Thank Make you. Sure to prioritize that then, since it's been a bit. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks very much, Barak. Thanks, Daniel. And I'll I'll create that ticket, Christina. Thank you very much for being willing. No, I'm happy to. Anything else on cloud management interface improvements? So next topic then was configuration as code errors. And this one I believe is still an in progress pull request to Jenkins core. Right now, when there's a configuration as code error, Jenkins core stops. It drops a core, uh, co uh, drops a, a stack trace and says, I'm exiting. And the, the desire is to have it instead keep the HTTP server running and present that to the user through the web page. Uh, we could look at that PR if that, well, I'm not sure it will help to look at it. Any questions there? All right. Any other topics that we need to bring to UX SIG today? Uh, Uli, thanks for joining. Was there anything that you you needed to bring to us as a as a UX SIG? Actually, no. That's okay. Fine. Great. Any others? All right, then just as a brief status report, the, uh, the, the not UX related, but developer experience related, the brownout for Artifactory was successful in that it showed us we're in a really good place in terms of removing the repository that was requested. So successful brownout. Daniel, reverted. Have you successfully reverted or is that still pending? Uh, no, I reverted most of it. Excellent. Okay, so so Brownout has completed. I'll post the summary later for others to see exactly what we learned from it. I've got some more log analysis to do to be sure that we understand all the things that happened. That's all that I had then. Are the, if there are no other topics, I'd say let's call an end to this meeting. Recording will be available about 24 hours from now. Thanks very much. Have a good day, everybody.